The new engineering contract provides suites of standard forms of procurement processes and main contracts in construction. In this video, we'll go through these contracts in more detail and give you a brief history of the NEC. Before we start, if you're enjoying these NEC videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button to get alerts when we upload new content. The first edition of the NEC was released in 1993. Subsequently, it evolved into NEC 2 in 1995 NEC 3 in 2005, and most recently NEC 4 in 2017. At the moment of writing this article, most contracts are currently procured under NEC 3. However, it's anticipated this will likely move into NEC 4 in the next couple of years. The contract forms which fall under the NEC are as follows. Engineering and Construction Contract, or ECC. This is the most commonly used contract form and contains all the characteristics of the NEC. This contract is mostly used between a main contractor and a client. Within this contract, there are six options, of which the employer will choose what they believe will achieve the best value. If you'd like to know more about these options, there'll be a link in the description of this video. The Engineering and Construction Subcontract Contract, or ECS. This contract is very similar to the above. However, it allows for the main contractor to sublet part of the project to a subcontractor. This allows for back-to-back -back clauses. The only difference is a change in names, i.e. contractor and subcontractor, and the timescales are altered to facilitate the timescales required in the ECC contract. The Engineering and Construction Short Contract, or ECSC. This contract is a cut-down version of the ECC, and is to be used when work is carried out that is considered to be low risk. Similar to the ECC, this is an employer-contractor agreement. The Professional Services Contract, or PSC. This is to be used for anyone who provides a service. For example, contractors carrying out design work. This ensures that although the design is produced for a contractor or employer, they would also be signed up to follow the clauses within the contract. The Professional Services Short Contract, or PSSC. For less complex assignments carried out under the PSC, the contract is often used for a small team managing the administration of the ECC on behalf of the employer. Framework Contract, or FC. This is an umbrella contract which is used over an agreed length of time. Within that time frame, work is let under a number of different contracts within the suite. This means parties will adhere to the headline clause within the framework, while following individual clauses within the chosen contract for that package. The framework contract is often very slim compared to other contracts. Term Service Contract, or TSC. This is for a project which is operational or maintenance-based. For example, maintaining a highway asset like street lighting. It will be the contractor's responsibility to maintain the asset and ensure a certain standard is kept for an agreed length of time. This contract isn't generally used for constructing new works. There's also a short-form version of this contract for low-risk work. Supply Contract, or Short Supply Contract, SC or SSC. This contract is specific for a supplier of supplies or goods. The purpose of this contract is to put contractual responsibility onto the supplier during a construction project lifecycle. The supply contract is for big project specific items, which are designed and manufactured specifically for the contract. The short supply contract is for more general supplies of goods to a project. Neither of these contracts cover site working. Dispute Resolution Services Contract, or DRSC previously adjudicator's contract. This is to be used when there's a dispute between parties on a project. The adjudicator will follow the clauses within this contract. Design, build and operate, or DBO. This allows for a whole life delivery solution. It combines design, build and maintenance responsibility for a single contractor. Alliance contract, or ALC. This is designed for clients who wish to fully integrate the delivery team for large complex projects. The ALC is used to engage a number of participants in a single collaborative contract to deliver a project or section of works. The basis of this contract is all parties working together in order to achieve the client's objectives while sharing the risk and benefit between them. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.